right guys, can you believe we are here in September almost? So I'm going to share with you my favorite products for the month of August. I have a purse to share and some really, really good makeup products. So let's go ahead and get into it. We're going to start off with skincare. So the first that I have is to remove makeup. This is from Inky List and this is the Oat Cleansing Balm. You can purchase Inky List at Target or Sephora now as well. And what's really special about this is the price point so what I use this for is to get off makeup before I use my normal cleanser it just kind of melts the makeup off it's really really nice and the best part about this is how affordable it is it doesn't break the bank inky list in general is an affordable skincare brand and I found with other makeup melting kind of cleansers they cause my skin to break out this doesn't make my skin break out so that's really huge so if you have sensitive skin I think this is a really nice formula transparent I did do a campaign with Inky List for this product a few weeks back. I agreed to do the partnership because it was legitimately a great product. I'm not being paid to say that in this video. It is legitimately a great product and I just love the fact that it doesn't break the bank. I'd love the formula if it were more expensive as well, but the price is just the cherry on top. You get so much product as well. It's going to last you a long time. The next product that I have is from Fenty Skin. This is the Fat Water. They describe it as a hydrating, milky toner essence. I love that they call it the fat water. I don't know why. But first of all, it does have a fragrance to it. So if you are sensitive to fragrance, back off of this. But to me, it has a very floral fragrance. It smells like chrysanthemum tea, which is something I grew up with in my childhood. So I feel like that's 50% of the reason why I love this product. But it's a toner for your skin that's slightly hydrating. It has a moisturizing feel to it. Now when I use this, I still feel the need to go in with my normal moisturizer. But this just adds that extra layer of hydration to lock into your skin. So I've been really enjoying this. It says, this is what thirsty skin craves. It hydrates, softens, and refines the look of pores. And I really do feel like it does that. And it's formulated to help maintain the skin's moisture barrier. If you have dry skin or oil, oily skin I honestly think that this is great for both because for dry skin it's a great additional step in the routine to add hydration and then for oily skin it's not something that's going to overwhelm the oiliness. Now I'm not a skincare expert so take what I'm saying with a very big grain of salt but I love the product, I love the scent, I love the way it makes my skin feel, I've been enjoying it a lot. It has found its way into my skincare routine for every day which is pretty hard to do since my skin is so sensitive and reactive been loving this. Okay, let's get up into the cosmetics. So I have a foundation that I've also been really enjoying. I've been talking about this recently. This is the Lancome Tant Idol Ultra Wear Care and Glow Foundation. If you have dry skin and you live in a humid climate, I think this foundation is really good. Or if you have oily skin, I think that this is very, very good. If you're severely dry, I don't think this is great for you. Now the reason that I say this is because this is a more dry foundation, but it does have a very subtle glow to it. So if you do have dry skin, the dryness of this product is definitely going to emphasize that. However, if you're like me where you have dry skin but you are outside all the time, you're really sweaty, it's very hot, this is perfect. This is an extremely long wear foundation and especially for you oily skin girls, I think you will really enjoy this. It's not a flat matte super drying finish but it does emphasize some dryness if you have some there. But overall, if you're looking for a really nice, lightweight, long wear foundation, this is great. It gives a medium coverage, not anything more, but it feels very thin and weightless on the skin given the finish of this product. It's really beautiful. I have a whole demo on my, I think it's my Instagram and TikTok. I have a short using that. Now that is sponsored, but I also have a video where I do a demo on my YouTube channel as well, where that's not sponsored and this is not sponsored as well just like the Inky list I'm really ecstatic that I was able to work on a campaign with them for a product that is genuinely very very good there's a reason that I accepted that and the big thing about it is it is a big thumbs up for the Florida weather so that is what has me ecstatic now I have a cream bronzer next this is actually an affordable cream bronzer for makeup revolution it's the ultra cream bronzer I have mine in the shade light this has a very
very high quality feel to it. Now the one thing that I can kind of notice that makes it a little bit more drugstore I would say as opposed to a high-end formula is I feel like it really is very very creamy so I do think you will benefit from setting with a powder because it definitely does not have a cream to powder finish. It stays cream the entire day. I don't find that an issue when it comes to sweating or anything. I don't think it swims but I just do think for a little added protection it's great to set with a powder. Nonetheless the tone of this is so beautiful. The emollients is great in terms of blending out and I think this is a really solid cream bronzer from the drugstore at an affordable price point. So if you've been looking for a good cream bronzer this Makeup Revolution one is a good one to go to and I'm pretty picky about the stuff that I like from Makeup Revolution because I find them to be very hit and miss more often miss than hit. But this is definitely one of the few hits from the brand. Alrighty and next up I have this powder from Sigma Beauty. This is the Soft Focus setting powder and mine is in the shade Vanilla Bean. I am a huge powder girl even though I have dry skin I honestly believe a good powder can completely transform this skin and blur over all of those problems and pores and this is one that really does it. It's a very lightweight powder but it is so blurring and it does kind of settle into the skin as the day goes on so it doesn't remain as blurring as once you first apply it but I find it looks even more skin like as the day goes on and it just feels so feather light on the skin. I'm very impressed with the blurring power to this. It's really great applied with a damp sponge and really pushed and worked into the skin and then you will literally see it combining one with the foundation that you're wearing and it looks so thick and good. So if you're looking for a nice lightweight blurring powder, this is really great. I would say it's not to the powers of my Maybelline Fit Me, but it is really up there. This is one of my new favorite powders, so it's very, very nice. Last product for complexion is from Kate Somerville, and I'm tentatively putting this in this video because there's a lot of cons to this product, but this is the Uncomplicated SPF Soft Focus Makeup Setting Spray. Now, I'm going to start off with the cons because it's pretty bad, and I don't think a lot of you are going to like this <laughs> because it's an aerosol spray can, and this it, it feels like you're applying hairspray to your face. Like it is very uncomfortable, you can't breathe, the scent is very very offensive if I'm being honest. Like you can't breathe the air even after you spray it for a couple seconds and it attaches to all of the hairs on your face that you don't even know exist and kind of creates a halo around the face. So yeah, it's pretty bad. But listen, listen, listen. After you spray it, take a sponge, push, 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 push the product in, it will get that halo off, and then watch your skin transform. I'm telling you, this can make any dry, matte complexion turn into a lively, healthy glow. This literally transforms the skin. It's very rare that I find a setting spray that actually like does something. This does it. I mean, not that my skin looked dry before, but as soon as I put this on and kind of push it in the skin, it had a glow, it had a more skin-like finish. With caution, I am recommending this. If you can't stand fragrance, you don't like the idea of like kind of spraying your face with a hairspray, don't recommend this. But just know, it does some things to my face that I like and I will continue to suffer that to get my skin to look like this. Like it literally makes your makeup look like skin and there's SPF in it. So with caution, I recommend that. The next product that I have is for eyebrows. This is from Patrick Tao Beauty. This is the Major Brow Defining Pencil. My eyes are on Patrick Tao right now because I ordered my foundation and powder duo and I'm like waiting for it to come in. But I love this eyebrow pencil. I think it is so nice. It's a very, very nice thin point which really does allow for very natural hair-like strokes. It's just an ideal brow pencil for me. I don't know, it has a spoolie at the end. It's not too dry. It's not too creamy. It really is very precise. I prefer a very fine tip when it comes to my brow pencils. So it's just been everything that I need. I wouldn't say it like stands out as best brow pencil on the market, but it's definitely up there in terms of having all the qualities that I like in a brow pencil. So I've been reaching for it a ton this month. Bringing me to the eyelashes that I'm wearing. So Lily Lashes came out with a collection of half lashes. So these are the dreamy lashes. And if you don't know what half lashes are, basically they're very short 
lashes. This is completely untrimmed. The lash starts here and it ends here. And the benefit that you get from it is that it elongates and lifts the eyes. So I have mine in the style Dreamy, like I said, but there's multiple styles in the collection. They all look so beautiful. And I just think that these lashes are such high quality. I've reused these at least five times at this point. They're still ready to go for multiple uses afterwards. And you can also just get your full lash strip and cut it, but it's nice having it done for you. And I really wanted to mention this because during the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty sale, these are going to be 50% off. So I totally will be recommending these to you. So don't buy these now. Keep an eye out on my community tab where I will let you know when these are 50% off because then it is really worth it. But look how pretty. It's not too dramatic, but it does kind of elongate the eyes. I think this is a gorgeous lash collection that they came out with. And then I'm onto eyeshadows already. There's two that I really enjoyed. The first one is from Huda Beauty. This is the love fest palette didn't think this was gonna end up in my favorites but honestly it is such a good quality palette i always get excited when their nine pans are good quality because they can be inconsistent and another con to this is this looks like a lot of other huda beauty palettes if you check my original review on this i give a couple alternatives literally within the Huda Beauty line that are pretty much dupe for dupe, if not very, very close. So this color story has been done before, but I've been enjoying this little palette in of itself. I've been enjoying quality. I've been enjoying the looks that I've been getting with it. So even though it is dupable within the Huda Beauty line, owning it individually and just using it as an individual palette, not comparing it to what is also in the line, it's a really nice palette. It is not a neutral palette, but it it allows you to step outside of your comfort zone, but it still isn't too bright. You could make it bright or you could tone it down, but I love all the textures in here. And like I said, quality is really great. So I've been enjoying this. And then the palette that I'm wearing on my eyes today is from an indie brand. I've used this palette four times now. I'm pretty sure I've used every color at this point. This is the Glaminatrix Nearly Natural Palette. So this is an indie brand. And my oh my, what a gorgeous palette. So today I used, I started off with nothing to see in the crease. It's just a cool toned color. And then I used this robe in the outer corner and I blended that out to made it a very soft kind of wing style. I used Stripped Back, which is the only shade that I hadn't yet used on the center of my lid, and then kind of blended it to take over the whole lid. It is very pigmented, very reflective. And then since I do have on a pink shirt, I wanted some pink, so I took a little bit of Unveiled on my finger and put it in the inner corner. Honestly, it wasn't that easy to see on the eyelid after I applied it, but I did get this gorgeous look. So overall, this is a really great quality palette. I love the color story. 10 out of 10 on the color story. The only things I will warn you about is the mattes aren't the most pigmented, but they are buildable. So it's actually very beginner friendly. And some of the shades, they are so reflective with a lot of those reflex put in there that they aren't as different on the eyelids. So a lot of the shimmers, while as gorgeous as they are, they will look the same. But I'll tell you, they're so gorgeous. I don't even care. I think this palette is stunning. If you do love neutral looks, I think you will enjoy this a lot. Highly recommend it. And you are going to be supporting an indie brand. They did send that to me in PR, but I'm in love with it. I think it's amazing. And I've been loving every single look that I've gotten with it so far. If you like that soft glam kind of look that I do, this palette's for you. And then the last makeup product that I have is from NYX. This is the This Is Juice Gloss in the shade Strawberry Flex, though. The shade doesn't matter. This is such a good gloss from the drugstore. So for one, it's kind of a novelty. It smells so good. It smells like very artificial strawberries, but in the most yummy way possible. And they have all these kind of fruit flavors. Now, it doesn't really matter what color you get because they all kind of are pretty clear. It's just really about the scent that you want, but I love the scent so much that I want more. But the gloss itself, while it's not very pigmented, it has the prettiest glossiness on the lips. It just smooths right over and you find lines that you might have on the lips and gives your lips that very wet 
slick look. Now, it's not the longest lasting, but I don't care because it's so hydrating and I want to reapply it because of how good it smells. So this is such a yummy novelty gloss you can get from the drugstore and it is beautiful. I love the finish of it. Do you see how wet it looks? Ugh, it just smooths out the lips. It's amazing. And that's all I have for beauty. I do have a purse of the month. Though I'm really sad because it is sold out, but <laughs> this is the Coach Lucy Crossbody. And it sold out within these past few days because I've been hoping that it wouldn't sell out because it's so cute and so versatile, but it has. So if you can go to your local coach outlet, maybe see if they have it because that's where I picked it up. So I'm not going to go too much into it, but I have posted about this on my Instagram stories multiple times. So if you missed it, I'm sorry, but I've been wearing this so much. I've had to tell myself to stop wearing it because I have a lot of other handbags I need to wear, but it's just perfect for summer and it goes with every outfit. It does come with this strap. The strap goes to very short, which is really great for my petite body. It's a messenger-ish style bag with the canvas. I just think it looks so good. It's the perfect size to hold everything that I need. So this has been my go-to bag this month. I've also been really loving my Marc Jacobs tote bag. I almost put it in this video, but really the Lucy one. And of course my Louis Vuitton Alma BB, but this is their number one for this month because of how much I used it. But anyways, you guys, those are all of the products that I have for today's video that I've been loving this month. I will have everything linked down below as well as other products that I'm wearing that I didn't feature in today's video. So yeah, thank you guys so much for liking this video and being subscribed to my channel. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Bye guys, have a good one.